Hello guys, welcome to a new video on Tower of God New World and in this video I'm going to talk about my channel in general and I'm also going to talk about the tier list uh, it's not going to be a tier list update it's just going to be a talk about the uh, like how meaningful the current tier list is and which kind of changes could be done but before going over that I just wanted to talk about my channel and as you noticed I didn't publish a lot of videos lately and also the kind of content I can create is kind of limited with the amount of time I'm spending on the game I'm not really in a position to be able to provide meaningful information to you guys on which units to build uh, which kind of uh, units are better than the other in which scenarios how to counter some other units because I'm really not playing enough my deficit due to this reason is not really high and uh, all these things together also made my motivation and energy to play this game a lot lower than it used to be. So it's really like hard for me now to try and create content and also engage with you guys on Discord. As you noticed, I didn't really uh, like write anything on Discord that frequently. Maybe every now and then I jump in and write some stuff, but. I'm really being inconsistent lately and I'm sorry for that but there is really not much I can do uh, right now so I don't know I, I will still try to create as many videos as I can but unfortunately the frequency is going down and I don't know like I, I don't know what I can do to create content that makes sense for you guys now because Again, as I said, I'm not playing enough to be able, like, to be in a position that I can give you advice that makes sense. Right now, I cannot really speak a lot uh, from like personal experience because I'm only at like 230 deficit, which is really nothing. So, whatever I test could be relevant, kind of, but at the same time, not really. I can kind of guess and test some composition and see what works best, but then I don't know if they can actually perform at high deficits. So again, this is more or less the dilemma I mean at the moment. I don't really know uh, what to do. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestion, any idea, whatever it is, just give me your opinion on this whole matter and I will try to find a way to keep creating content that actually makes sense. Otherwise, it's only a waste of time for everyone if I create content that is not good enough or maybe straight up harmful for your accounts. And I don't obviously want to do that. I'd rather just stop creating content or maybe uh, like delegate my spreadsheet to somebody else that is actually uh, playing the game extensively and hopefully uh, those other people could maintain it and actually make it worthwhile. That's all I can say about my channel at the moment. Now for the other topic, that is the tier list. It's kind of in line with what I just said, which is now, like, uh, in my Discord, um, uh, I think, like, someone created a post on my a spreadsheet feedback channel to try and make a distinction in the tier list for high and mid to low deficit so let's say higher than 300 and lower than 300 ranges just because some units are crazy good at low deficit but become pretty much irrelevant at higher deficits while some other units uh, might do the opposite or just might be straight up great for both scenarios. And I think that suggestion makes a lot of sense. But unfortunately for what I just said, and that is I'm kind of stuck at 230 deficit, not because I cannot push further, but because I'm not playing. Uh, so it's difficult, well, actually impossible for me to rank units at 300 plus deficit. It's really impossible. So that would be either a community tier list or I would just have to 
talk with people that are those deficit and that uh, I know I can trust and get their opinion and rankings on those units. These are basically the only options or well, there could be a third, which would be, I could guess what could happen at 300, but not being there is really difficult. So this is tricky. Uh, I will see maybe with some other people in the community what can be done in this front, but I agree with the fact that w there should be some sort of distinction this way, or at the very least only consider 300 plus for the ranking year, which would mean a lot of units would go really a lot down, but okay, like also tank hats, for example, this guy would go even uh, further down. She would also go down a bit. Like there are some units that are really kind of trash at super high deficit because they just die and don't provide any value at all. And some other units could also go up. Like one of the cases where the unit gains more value as the deficit increases is Blur Road because, well, a super low deficit is value, like super low deficit, I mean like 100, 150. His value is still high because he can kill the target. Around 200 is kind of meh slash worthless. Though he's still good, but you don't really need him to win. At 300 plus, he becomes really important because he can reduce the energy of a specific target. And usually in the backline, you find units like Anniversary Iwa. And he can help a lot getting rid of those units. So... There are, there are a lot of variations and it's really like, I think usually when you want to build units, you look at the 300 plus deficit, you wouldn't look at the 300 and lower. So at that point, making two, dis two different tier lists or making only the 300 plus would be pretty much the same, I think. Uh, and probably the 300 plus would be the best one to, to go for. But yeah, again, as I said, I don't really know how to approach it. As it stands, this tier list is not that important. And in general, I don't think people should build units based on tier lists. Because if we go like in this Revolution uh, 6 tier list, there is this guy here in the S tier, but would that mean people should build him over Red Mask Warion, Romay, or Support Warion? No, I would not recommend anyone to build this guy. And now he's probably not even there. Actually, I, I should I should still make a lot of changes here, but just to provide an example, even if a Craptor is there, it doesn't mean you should build him. Same thing with maybe like this guy, Gustang, you shouldn't go for him even though now with Revolution 5 and 4 being buffed is a good unit, but Kunagero will work just fine, is not really needed. There are a lot of scenarios where you don't really want to look for the tier list to decide which units you should build first or not. And that's something I tried to kind of work around with the priorities that I put here in like the dupes column, you see different priorities. This should be kind of an indication of which unit you should build first for a certain element, but even that is really not that important. So, and well, not important, but not really accurate nowadays because it's really difficult for me to update all of the tabs at the same time so yeah, I mean, I fear all this information could become unaligned, non-updated and just not reliable enough for people to be uh, like to use as sort of a base. There are for sure some units that will always stay relevant and that can always benefit an account, but it's, it's really difficult for me to update all of these things. So I don't know how I'm going to approach it. I might try to simplify some other tabs, try to link more stuff together so that there are less places where I actually update things and 
less like risk of having sort of a misalignment of information. I don't know. But yeah. This is more or less what I wanted to talk about. I know I yapped about a lot of different stuff, uh, many of which you might not even be interested in, but okay. Uh, I'm just looking forward to hearing your thoughts in general uh, in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.